know this sounds crazy, but I smell pot. Somebody around here is deciding to celebrate they got out, I think. So the mud, water's receding back over this way now. This is the scene. I'm gonna get up here and see if I can't talk to these folk and find out where they're heading and what what else is going on up here. Looks like they might be pulling out. Have y'all gotten everybody out of here that's getting out, or are y'all still just working here? Still working. Oh, wow. How many people you think? Yes. We'd help if I put it on. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm Jane. Uh, well, share that number if you end up leaving here with the next group. I'm not going anywhere okay. until they run us out of here. All right. Let's run. Okay. All right, well, they're just now getting to work in this area, so I'm going to actually try and set up. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab my tripod and come up this way. sell some Cajun Navy here.
So I'm coming up right now on West Little York and Eldridge, heading south. There should definitely be some people probably being rescued up ahead. Here. Traffic is definitely moving, but I know for a fact it is cut off up ahead. The question is where, and I can't really tell because I got this big fat boat in front of me. Oh, it's somewhere right around there. This might be a time whenever I think I'm going to go ahead and hop out and walk up there and let's see what's going on. The streets, I'm going to try and find somewhere I can park. Maybe. I don't know. They look like they've got what they need down here. I've passed some other places that are definitely worse off than this, so get a shot of what I can. So I can let people see what's happening as best I can. And then I think I'm going to get out of their way. As you can see, that is just inundated. Completely over. So I'm going to hook this back around. I'm going to go see if I can't find a different way. Back at Jamestown, they were just starting to do other evacuations in there with boats. And they looked like they had resources pouring into there. But they, they had the back end of that neighborhood that they didn't look like they were putting anybody into. And I don't know if... They might need more help down over there. Well, everybody's kind of slowing up. That's kind of weird though, I don't see anybody turning around. For sure this road is not open. This is Lock Katrine. I'm coming up to the road being divided off where it was yesterday, and I'm actually pushed even farther back. So that means the water has actually risen even farther up. See, they're diverting traffic around. I'm going to kind of come up and around and see what I can see coming around this way. As I feel that I'm literally standing in water. Got boat rescues going on right in there. Let's go up over this way. See that? You lagging, Skip. You lagging, man. Come on. 
You're killing me over here. It's power. about Clay Road, there it is. Underwater. There's no way to get into there. He gets around on this mud a whole lot better than I do, I'll tell you what. Huh? All right, we just had somebody get dropped off. They're loading them up in there. And then they're bringing them back. They're going back in for more. All right, hey, thank you. <laughs> he gets around on this mud a whole lot better than I do, I'll tell you what. Huh? Alright, we just had somebody get dropped off. They're loading them up in there. And then they're bringing them back. They're going back in for more. Barricades way back over there. School buses, rescuers. Trucks are lined up. rescues we got boats waiting we got boats deployed
underwater back as far as you can see. That's Queenston Road right there, Queenston and Clay. Completely underwater, Queenston unpassable.